Adobe Photoshop 2020 has a few new things comic book colorists and artists are going to like. After years of asking, we finally have folders for swatches, gradients, and patterns. Now you can organize swatches, set up color schemes for different books inside their own folders, and you don't have to use replace swatches to load new swatch sets. When you first open Photoshop 2020, your swatch palette might look a little bit like mine here. A folder or two on top, a mass of swatches in the middle, and then more default swatch folders on the bottom. If I open the swatch folder at the top, you can see it contains all the same swatches as the one sitting in the middle. I don't need two sets of the same swatches, so here's one more new trick with Photoshop 2020. Select the top swatch, hold down the shift key, and select the one at the end, and now they're all selected. Control click, and then I can delete all those swatches at once. You can also select and delete multiple swatch folders all at the same time as well. So the other great thing about being able to select multiple swatches is that I can grab a whole bunch, move them out of my main folder, create a new folder, and they're automatically added to the new folder. This will help you organize your swatches and help you to set up color schemes for different books that you can keep inside separate folders. You can import multiple swatch folders at the same time. You can also import more than one copy of the same color swatch. The copy I just imported still has all those spectrum colors that I had moved from the other folder earlier. There isn't a save swatches anymore, but there is an export selected swatches. You can save swatch folders or individual swatches. Here's another trick with swatches. I'll make a selection that is all the interior panels, and I'm going to warm them up. I'm going to select a background layer here, and then drag a color swatch right on top of it. Reduce the opacity of the new layer so that we're tinting it instead of giving it a solid color. If I don't think that's warm enough, I can just grab a new swatch and drag it right on top. I want to do something similar with the two panels that are set outdoors, but I have to make a new layer above them so it will affect both of those layers. We'll grab a nice bright blue and drop that on top of our new layer there. Adjust the opacity on that, and now our outdoor scenes have a different color scheme than our indoor scenes. I'm going to select the sky in the third panel so I can do some work on it and show you another new trick. It's hard to see here, but this panel is on its own layer. If I hold down the Option key and then click on the layer, it automatically zooms in to fill the screen. I'm going to make a new layer and show you how to do the same trick with gradient that I showed you with swatches. I'll open up the gradient palette and drag one onto our layer. You can double click on the gradient fill layer and open it up to change the parameters. If you edit the gradient bar, I found that Photoshop crashes, unfortunately. Change the angle, or you can drag new gradient on that layer. If you color with transparent layers, I have another shortcut I think you're going to like. I'm going to select the glass, create a layer mask, and then zoom in on it to show you the next trick. I'm going to use a hard brush to add a highlight to the edge of the glass. If you hold the tilde key, it temporarily turns your brush into an eraser. Go and you're back to a hard brush. So now you can switch back and forth between a brush and an eraser without having to change tools. Hopefully you'll be able to add some of these new tricks to your coloring arsenal with Adobe Photoshop 2020. I'm Mark Sweeney. Thanks for watching.